When your list is growing longer and longer with all of the things that you long to do and all of the places you long to travel to, slow down, be still, and trust. For perhaps even here, there is room to be unrushed. For as sure as your heart beats and it beats for something more and you cannot help but wonder what lies beyond the shore, remember you were made for more right here where you are. It is a wonder to travel and learn, but you do not have to travel far. Right here beneath this warm summer sun, you are free to be undone. You are free to be the one who comes alive right here where she is. This is a poem inspired by a conversation with writer and flight attendant Taylor Tippett. Written and read by me, Morgan Harper Nichols. I think that just like the most beautiful things happen when we just let them, you know? And it's hard, especially as like, I mean, a writer, it's like you can't, you can force something and like, you know, set yourself up to like get something, you know, like if you listen to music or if you read certain things and you can dwell on that and get something. But I don't know, at least my best work, I call them like heart vomits is when I'm just in it and like, it's just happens. What if getting into the creative flow had everything to do with letting go? What if the very things we are trying so hard to construct involved softening our hearts into trust? And if that happens to feel just a little bit true, I hope that means something to you. For after all you've been through and all of the things that you have been made to feel that you had to be. Perhaps it truly matters to know that you are free, to go beyond the limitation of what the critics might say or think. Whoever the critic has made you feel you had to be, I hope that critic does not keep you from being free. Free to scribble in the margins or free to not write anything at all. Free to make that big change or start off really small. Perhaps some of the best work you can do is noticing just how much pressure has been on you and what beautiful open fields you start to notice when you start to loosen your shoulders and worrying less about getting older and all of tomorrow's expectations, writing down your limitations and falling into grace that gives you strength to tell that critic he has no permanent place. Do you feel like you ever had to, we ever went through a season where it was just like, I'm just going to do this or do this this way because it was expected of me. Yeah, um, I think that when you're really vulnerable on the internet, like, and that is what people connect with. Well, first of all, vulnerability is like how we connect with others the most always. And I think that there's always some sort of an expectation when you are so vulnerable and you do share these big, huge parts of your life or what you're going through, what you're learning. Like, I think there is an expectation to continue to do that because of well, for personal reasons, like how you know it makes people feel, like knowing that my words or like my work or whatever I'm doing can like help or inspire one person is like so fulfilling to me. And um, and that's like why I do what I do. Let the reason you do what you do not be for someone else's approval of you, but how you can be a reflection for what someone else is going through. Your story is rich with gold, many stories left untold. Some of them you will share and others you won't. And that is okay. There will be days to listen and there will be days to speak. 
And there will always be days for you to be present and simply just be. Right here where you are, this is the work. Through the highs and lows and all the change, you are growing and you are a part of this life, no matter how you feel, day by day. I feel like you have moments where you're just like, I just need a break. Like, yeah. I just don't want to think about anything right now. <laughs> yeah. No, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, because I think, we're, I mean, every day we're growing and we're becoming who we're supposed to be, whether that's pretty or it's not. So I think every day there's always things that I could share mm-hmm. and I could talk about. I mean, we have every single day something happens, mm-hmm. whether it's crappy or whether it's the best or you have really big breakthroughs or it's just normal, like, you know, anxieties or whatever. Like, you mm-hmm. could talk about it every day. But I think that there's beauty in not, like, withholding, or, excuse me, not sharing everything. Um, I think sometimes we have to, like, hold it for ourselves and, like, have these moments and things in our lives for, like, us. Slow down. Breathe deep. Remember those sacred spaces. Remember those quiet places where the heart feels safe. In a world filled with constant change, you will feel the need to respond to many things. You will feel reactions rising from the depths of your restless body. But no matter how intense, it is a sign of strength when you exhale. May your soul be well in a world that asks for more. May you trust that in the grace there is room to be restored. I love writing and I love, you know, being this unstructured, like wildflower, like crazy, you know, that's very much so like who I am and it's beautiful, but I'm also finding like beauty and like healthy and like being grounded and like Mm -hmm. actually making myself right. And taking that time and having deadlines. Like, that's not how I'm wired, but there's beauty in that too. And in the end, there is room for both, the fast pace and the slow, the known and the unknown. You do not always have to have a precise, exact plan, but like a wildflower growing in the open fields, she is still rooted and grounded. In changing winds, she is strong, but she is not tense. Face turned to the sun, she grows right here where she is. Mm 